Welcome to the show, everyone. Remember, it's not just rock and roll. It's Holy Joe Rock and Roll. Let's get this show started. What up, everybody? It's Holy Joe Rock and Roll, and this is my movie review of The Hateful Eight. This is a Quentin Tarantino film of the Western genre, and it explores a bounty hunter who is bringing in a prisoner to in a Wow Wow West town a few years after the end of the Civil War. So this is probably 1870s, early 1870s, when this is taking place. Uh, it's a Western, Kurt Russell's in it, Samuel L. Jackson, and a few other Quentin Tarantino movie favorites, you know, the actors that you've seen before in these various other movies. There's a lot of interesting characters, and if you've seen the trailers, or if you've seen some of the advertisements, they sort of name the different characters as, you know, the bounty hunter, the hangman, the, the judge, whatever. Um, and it's, it's pretty interesting. But I have to warn you that it's definitely not for kids. I would definitely not let my kids see this film. It's horrible in that respect. Some of the language, some of the visuals, some of the, the thematic things in the film are definitely not for kids. But having said that, um, I'm not, not without giving any spoilers away. You know, the story is basically Kurt Russell's character. He's a bounty hunter known as the hangman. He has a prisoner who, he, who he's bringing in alive on a stagecoach. And along the way, they pick up a couple of, a couple, a couple, two or three uh, uh, passengers. And they're, because there's a storm coming, they're in, uh, I think they're in Wyoming. So they're out in the middle of nowhere. They're forced to stop at this rest stop, which is uh, like a restaurant, I guess you would call it a waypoint, a uh, place along the stagecoach trail where you could stop and rest up. And <clears throat> that's where we're introduced to additional characters. And you start to wonder, who's who? Why are they there? What's the deal, right? And it is um, very suspenseful in that sense, right? As you slowly start to identify who these different characters are, what's their relationship to each other? Is there a relationship? Is there some kind of conspiracy? What's going on? So that's pretty cool. The thing is, that process, that learning process, is actually kind of slow, and it is a little bit tedious. I know, I don't know if, if, if there would have been a way to make it go by faster, I don't know. It's worth it, it's worth it if you could just be patient, you know, just be patient, just, just suspend your disbelief, get into the film, uh, because then, around midpoint, you start to discover what's really going on, and it is then becoming very, exciting because you want to know what's happening, what's going to happen next. What what the heck is going to happen next? So that is actually really well done. Now there is one other part that I, you know, I'm, I have mixed feelings on it. And Samuel L. Jackson plays the role of another bounty hunter who has a couple of dead, uh, you know, he killed a couple of dead people, killed a couple of bad guys, they're dead, and he's bringing them into town. And he's, he's along, uh, gets picked up on the way. And uh, he's here's also there. So his character, you know, is like a I would have to say stereotypical Samuel L. Jackson in that he goes on one of his rants. Like like almost every movie, Samuel L. Jackson goes on one of his rants, right? And in this case, the rant is very uh, it's horrible. I mean, it's graphically horrible. It's disgusting, and it's probably. It's hard to believe that in 1870 that somebody would do this, right? And the other thing is it's, it's extremely racist. It's, I mean, it's extremely, if the roles were reversed, right? If Samuel L. Jackson's character was a white guy and the person he was talking about was a black guy or the son of a black man, you know, this, this movie would never, I mean, it would never get made. I, I think it would never get made. You would arguably say that's completely racist. It's completely horrible. But... I guess we live in a day and age when, you know, if it's against Whitey, you can say whatever you want. But just keep that in mind. Bear that in mind. I thought that was horrible. That was just disgusting, horrible, and probably factually inaccurate. However, the movie is worth watching. Uh, oh, man, it has just a really climatic ending. And I think if you like Western genre films, this is not, let's say, I mean, look, it takes place in the Wild Wild West, let's say right after Civil War, so around 1870. It, the character development is really good, and I think you're gonna like it. All right, I'm giving it two thumbs up. Hold your rock and roll. You know, until next time.
Take care and Happy New Year.